Hi there. Now for the next part, part D here, we're told that the line L2 passes through the point P and is parallel to the line L1. And we've got to find a vector equation for the line L2. Well, the line L1, let's just say that that's that one there. And we've got a line that's parallel to it. So we'll just draw our second line, this L2. And we know that the point P is on L2. I don't know where P is, so we'll just say it's here. Okay, so that's the point P. And remember that from the origin, it's position vector. Let's just mark it in. We're told in the previous part of the question was 0, 2, 3. So it just brings you up to date with that. Now remember, the vector equation for a line is of the form R equals a plus lambda b, where a is a point on the line, a known fixed point on the line, and then b is a vector parallel to the line. Lambda is a variable scalar, remember. Now, where do we get our vector that is parallel to this line L2? Well, it comes from L1. Remember, in an earlier part to this question, we were told that the points A and B, let's just mark them on, okay, we'll call this point A, and we'll have this point as B. We were told that A and B were points on the line L1, and we were asked to find out the vector A to B, and we found it out in part A to be 1 minus 1, 1. And so we can use this vector as our vector that's parallel to the line. So therefore, very easy, we can just say that therefore R equals a point on the line, which we know is this one, 0, 2, 3. So we've got 0, 2, 3. And then it's plus lambda. You can use any variable scalar you want, lambda, mu, s, t, whatever. And then we need the direction vector, which is 1 minus 1, 1. Okay, or any multiple of that. It doesn't have to be 1 minus 1, 1. Okay, you can have the negative version of this if you wanted, or double it, 2 minus 2, 2. It's totally up to you, but I think that looks the best. Remember, R then is the position vector of any point on this line here, though. R comes from the origin out to any point on here. I won't draw it on because it's just going to overcrowd the diagram. But there we go. There's our answer.